Hey, I'm Fabe, I'm a 3D artist, and today I walk you through on how I created this space scene. So let's get started. I started with blocking out the scene, so I added a floor and a wall in the background, and with a cylinder and a boolean modifier, I added the hole. Make sure to delete the top and the bottom face of the cylinder to create the actual hole. Then I added the camera and also added a bevel to everything, so to round the, the shape off. To add more details, I went into edit mode and used the knife tool to cut out this piece. With I, you can insert the selection and move it back. And then I try to duplicate this uh, selection and just uh, flip it over, but this didn't work really out. So in the end, I deleted the half of the back wall and used a mirror modifier. This was like the, the best and quickest solution. After that, I also added some more details at the bottom and I also beveled the edges there. Bevel is always a great tool because no uh, edge in real life is actually that sharp. After that, I finished the room with some walls on the sides and one at the top. I also added the two planets in the background, just some two spheres that are in the window frame. And I went on to Sketchfab and searched a model where, which I could load into Mixamo and auto rig it. And then I just used a simple walking animation and imported this walking animation into Blender. I continued with adding the light, so I used Easy HDRI add on for HDRIs. I imported this Space HDRI and I continued looking for some planet textures on Production Crate. They have some great cool textures for planets. Then I just started importing these planets and also plucked the base color into emission to give the whole thing some, yeah, the whole planet some emission. I also rendered this out and in Compositor I added the glow effect just to see how it looks. And uh, there I played around with the HDRI a little bit so that the light actually shines, shines kind of through the window. Yeah. I also added a light in the back of the room to light up the interior and then I went on to Megascans to find some cool textures. Um, actually I was not quite um, happy with the textures I found on Megascans or in Quixel Bridge and that's why I used the Blender Kit add-on. In Blender itself there you can also search for materials. As you can see there at the top and I just played around with the different materials for the for the little cuts out I did and for the wall in the background. And this went on for, for a long time. I like to play around with uh, different materials. Uh, always play with the size. Uh, I also added some more details uh, in the wall in the background. After that the floor looked a little empty so I actually went into edit mode and dragged up some, some different parts of the floor and give, gave them some different materials to make it more interesting. The whole scene looked quite alright, but I wanted to add a light, so I added this at the top and I also um, added a cube later on and gave it a fog or a volume texture just to give the whole scene some, some a foggy vibe actually. And then I went back onto Sketchfab to import some more assets I found because the scene still looked a little bit empty. And there you can actually go full on crazy. Just drag into it what you want. I also drag this, this part and cut it into pieces. Uh, yeah, just to, to fill out the empty spaces you have. Then I exported this image in Ultra HD, loaded into Photoshop and used some, some presets, some color presets I had and adjusted the, the colors accordingly to the image. And after that I also used some, some brush to brush over the, the uh, planet in the background to give it some more glow. And all in all after that, just uh, giving the, the image some final touches, I was actually done. I hope you like this kind of walkthrough commentary. If you have some questions or if you want like a slower version, just write it in the comments. I am happy to help and yeah, I hope I can see you the next time. Bye guys.